-hmm. As many of you know, there are not only multiple choice questions, but there's also fill in the blank questions. Um, our understanding is that whenever they have the fill in the blank, they're likely to be numbers, not words. Um, so I think that's logical for most of the time. It's going to be a, a number answer in this, uh, this setting. Uh, so this question, what hourly fire rating will be required for non-bearing partitions in the interior portion of the building? Uh, all right, well, um, we start thinking about that. There's going to be somewhere in our building code, there's going to be uh, some information about like uh, exterior bearing walls would be, you know, say three hours, but uh, maybe two hours if it's far enough away from the property line. And uh, interior columns might be one hour or two hour, depending on which construction type it is. Uh, now, we actually don't necessarily know which construction type it is. We've just, in the question before, we've made an assumption, but we actually don't know that for sure. So that's kind of an interesting question here about how we would deal with this. So let's take a look at our question here. So this is the building code. I'm going to go all the way back up to the beginning just to show us again the All right. Um, So, uh, if we're looking at this set of information, where would this information be? Would it be under use and occupancy? Probably not. Would it be under building heights and areas? Probably not. Would it be under types of construction? That seems plausible. So let's take a look at 66 and see what happens. So this is page 66. On the exam, it would probably be done by, not by page, but by uh, section number. Okay, so here we are, type of uh, construction. Uh, and sure enough, right there, first thing we find, fire resistance rating requirements for building elements in hours. Uh, so we have bearing walls, uh, exterior and interior versions of bearing walls. Um, we have non-bearing walls and partitions at the exterior. Uh, the one that we actually got asked though was non-bearing walls and partitions in the interior. And I was worried like, well, we have type one, there's type two, there's type three. Uh, what are we going to do? We don't know which type it is. Look at that. They're all zero. So the answer Zero. <laughs> and you probably could have guessed that, uh, you know, an interior partition, uh, you know, there's, there isn't necessarily, if it don't have more information, uh, there isn't anything necessarily mandating that that be a fire rated uh, um, structure. If it was an interior partition that's a demising wall, suddenly that word demising means, has meaning, and it starts speaking to the idea that this is uh, maybe a, a wall that's separating out a fire rated area from uh, another area, like one apartment unit from another, or one uh, tenant use from another, or something like that. So that question could be very similar and give you a very different answer. Mm -hmm.